Hey, this is Toto Bravo, and we're out at the range again today. As you can see, we've got our Mossberg 935 with us again, but we're not out here to shoot turkey loads. Today, we're out here with a uh, Mossberg 24-inch fully rifled barrel, and uh, we have a Traditions 4x32 scope on here. The barrel has the cantilever uh, scope mount on it. Uh, I've read, uh, you know, mixed reviews on the uh, cantilever scope mounts. We'll see for ourselves today. But our reason uh, for being out here today is this will be our our uh, shotgun setup for deer. Well, there's some areas in uh, Pennsylvania that you can only hunt with a shotgun. So we're out here to try to get this squared away today. We'll be shooting uh, Hornady SSTs, uh, slugs. These are these Sabode slugs. Um, they are 300 grain uh, SST slugs, rifle barrels only. Unfortunately, we could only get the two and three quarters. We can go all the way up to 3.5 on here, but uh, I couldn't find any of that available. So this will be a good way to at least get us on paper, get us zeroed, and we can go from there. So that's enough yapping. All right, this will be our first round down range. I did a... Uh, I did a field expedient bore sight on this, and uh, hopefully it puts us on paper. We only have 15 rounds today. Hopefully it doesn't take that. So it's enough yapping. Let's uh, let's see if we can get on paper here. I'm actually going to have to walk you guys down range. I've, uh, I'm pretty amazed. We are just a little low of where we, where we, uh, where we were shooting. Our point of impact was just a little low from our point of aim. So, uh, let's go down and check it out. Closing in. All right, we're closing in on the target. My point of aim, uh, well, it's right about here. Obviously, the impact's there. So, I'm going to change my point of aim to the actual impact there on this next shot. See where I hit, make my adjustment. Not bad. So that first round uh, looks like it hit right where we were aiming. It may have hit just a little low. Uh, so we're going to use that last impact as our point of aim. Let's go check it out. All right, here we come up on the target. So that time our point of aim was here. Point of impact was here. We knew it was gonna be a little low. So we'll go ahead and we'll make a, a couple click adjustment up and to the right. And we'll shoot one more round, see if we can match it up. All right, this is our third shot. We made some adjustments. Let's see how this pans out. Watch your lane. All right, shot number four. Let's give it a go. That one went a little high. We might have been a little ambitious on that. Let's bring it down just a little. That's where we want to be. All right, looks good. Let's go down range. So let's talk about those last couple shots, why don't we? So these are our last several shots here. So this was our next shot. We made an adjustment, which was an overly aggressive adjustment, which put us up into here. And then we brought it down and this was shot number five. So I think that's where I'll leave it for the time being. I'm okay with that. The next step here will be to push this out to a hundred yards and uh, invalidate. All right, 
we have moved that to the 100 yard range. We have an eight inch steel plate out there painted yellow. I've got you zoomed in on that about as best as I can. And I'm probably skipping a step here by not using paper again. But I feel pretty confident that uh, we can hit that plate. And if we can hit that plate with uh, several rounds and uh, looks like they group well, I really don't plan on using this any further than 100 yards. So we will call that a success. So that's enough yapping. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can end up uh, rocking that plate. Enough yapping. Here we go. Great shot. Let's try another one. If you're wondering why it's uh, not ejecting, uh, this action on the 935 is set up for magnum loads. So it's not a malfunction, it's just not designed for two and three quarters. Let's get another hit in. We rocked the hell out of that plate. Let's go down range and set it up again. All right, so, so far. We are two for two on the plate. Let's go ahead. Let's do another one. Watch your lane. I don't know if that was a nip or what. We'll have to review that video. I'm not sure where we hit on that one. Looked like a nick. We nicked it, is what I think. All right, here goes shot number four. We have hits on everything so far. The last one was a Looked like it was just a nick. Let's uh, watch our lane. <coughs> Solid hit there. All right. <coughs> that puts us five for five. This is toe two Bravo. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up for the day. It was a quick one. <clears throat> Our goal was to get out here and make sure that we could zero this. We used the Traditions Black Powder Sight 4x32 because I've used it for several years on one of my Black Powder rifles, so I knew it could handle the recoil and the shock. Uh, I don't need, I don't think I'm going to need anything more than a fixed power scope. I don't plan on uh, shooting anything, you know, beyond 100, maybe 120 yards with this. Uh, I expect whatever I shoot to be uh, much closer than that. So our goal was to get it zeroed. We did a field expedient bore sight at the beginning of the, uh, of the range visit. It worked out very well, put us on paper pretty quick. And uh, we've just put five runs onto a uh, eight inch steel plate at hundred yards. Um, some of them are center mass. I did make a quick adjustment there at the end. It just brought it up just a hair. Seems to have worked out very well. I'm very happy with the results for this. Um, this cantilever uh, scope mount doesn't seem to be a problem at all for me. That's just my knowledge. Someone else's could vary, you know, you never know. This is an OEM barrel from Mossberg. It is the 24 inch uh, chambered for uh, two and three quarter, three inch and three and a half inch, 935 barrel. So I'm very happy. Well, well, I gave you some bad information. After I went and got the target We've confirmed four good hits. These are the last two here. I thought I had the, the shot number three was that Nick that I spoke about in the video. There was only four hits on here. Again, these were the last two. I actually did miss one. Shot number, what would that have been? Shot number three actually hit my hanger pull there. 
perfectly where it didn't break it, but it kind of just went center mass. So we did have a miss, just to give you an idea, the plate would have been hanging, uh, if it was straight, probably would have been hanging as such. So it was way off there. We did have a miss though. Just wanted to, wanted to rectify that. We had a, a clean pass through on our hanger. Yapping. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll get this out to the range a little more when ammo becomes a little more available. Maybe with some three inch or three and a half inch rhymes and we'll see what the difference is between the three. Uh, but this is Toe 2 Bravo. I appreciate you watching. Until I see you at the range again, thanks.